Today, I am going to teach how to animate a chain. For that, I first take a circle under NURBS primitives and create. Now I scale it and rotate it 90 degrees. You can see that now I got four screens. Now I move my mouse to the front screen and press the spacebar. Then you can see how the front screen came to full screen. Now I scale my NURB circle to the size I want and keep it where I want. Now I go back to the perspective view and select my NURB circle. Now, while my NURB circle is selected, I click and hold the right mouse button and select the control vertex from the tabs that appear there. Then you can see some small pink color dots around my circle. Now, as I said before, click and hold the right mouse button and select the object mode and select my NURB circle. Now, while the NURB circle is selected, I change the top main menu bar to modeling, click the small box in front of rebuild in the curves under it and go to its settings. Then click reset settings under edit to reset all the settings in that setting box and set the number of spans to 100 and click the rebuild button. Then go back to the control vertex. Then you can see how there are lots of pink dots around my circle. Now I can adjust my NURB circle to the shape of this chain. Now I bring my NURB circle right in the middle of this chain. Now I go back to the front view to keep my NURB circle right. Now I hold down the spacebar and click on the small box in front of the lattice under deform from the tabs that come there and go to its settings. I keep the settings in the settings box as they are and click create. Then you can see how a box made of lines was created around my circle and how the related settings appear in the channel bar on the right. Now I go to lattice settings and change the value of S and U divisions to 10. Now I click the isolate select button to take only the lattice into the viewport. Now you can see how there are 10 horizontal lines in that lattice. Now I go to the vertex mode and drag and select all the vertices of the five lines by clicking and holding the left mouse button. Now I go to move mode and drag the selected part and adjust the shape of my NURB circle to the shape of the chain. Now I go back to the perspective view and turn on the shaded mode. Then I see the shaded view of my chain again. Now I again click the right mouse button on the bottom left button and select persp and outliner there. With this outliner, we can see all the elements in the viewport. Now I select that lattice from the outline and go to the layer palette, add that lattice to a new layer, and rename that layer. Now I turn off that layer. Then things will be easier for me to do next. Now I turn on the wireframe mode to make sure that the NURB circle is in the middle of the chain. Now I turn on the shaded mode again and change the upper right main bar to rigging. Now I go to skeleton under rigging and select create joints there. I can create joints through this tool. Now I go back to the front view to add joints to each chain link. Look carefully. I create one joint to cover one chain link. Joints are created by simply clicking the left mouse button. Now I create joints to cover all the links of the chain in that way. After a long process, I came back to the first chain link. Now add your chain of joints to the first joints and press the enter button. Then you will see how the chain of joints is created. Now move your joints in the middle of the chain as you did before. Now I am going to parent each of these chain links to the corresponding joint. Okay guys, I have to stop here, because this video is getting too long. So, with the last part of this video we will meet in how to create a chain animation with Autodesk Maya Part 2. And thanks for watching.